Hello, this is Desi from the Neighborhood Group. We offer free services to the job seekers in Toronto. If you need help with your resume or interview preparation, if you need guidance in the Canadian labor market, or if you just don't want to job search alone, we are here to help. Many of our clients are new to Canada and we have noticed that uh, sometimes the resumes that they bring to us for review uh, do not uh, meet some of the expectations of the Canadian employers. And this is totally understandable because uh, the employers in every country have certain expectations and they might be different from another country. And it's very important though for the job seeker to make sure that he's clear about what the expectations are and tailor the resume towards them. Some examples, uh, for example, uh, we see resumes with some personal information like date of birth or marital status or citizenship. This is not something that the employers expect to see there. It's perfectly normal for some countries, but not in Canada. It will be quite unusual to have it and it shouldn't be in your resume. Another example is the photo. We see resumes with photos and definitely lots of countries uh, uh, have photos in the resumes that are used there. But in Canada, your resume shouldn't have a photo unless uh, you are looking for a job in some very specific industries. The way you look like shouldn't be making uh, any difference uh, for the decision of the employer whether to call you for interview or not. Another example, your social insurance number. It does not belong to the resume or your references. We see references listed in the resume, their names, their contact information. It's too early for references. The employer doesn't need them at the time of reviewing your resume for the first time. They will need them much later after a successful interview. So don't use the space in your resume for listing references. They are not expected there and also they use space that you can use for something much more helpful like advertising skills. Another example of uh, expectations not being met is a resume that is too long. Sometimes we have clients that come to us with resume that is four, five, six, or even more pages, but the employers expect not more than two. Sometimes one page is good enough. So try to stick to those expectations or your resume will definitely look like uh, a resume of someone who comes from somewhere else. And the resume shouldn't be called a CV. This is something that we also see quite often. CV is a term that exists, but uh, it refers to something else, not uh, the resume that you use to apply for most of the jobs. You may have a CV when you apply for certain positions in academic or research environment. So do not call your resume CV. Do not use the term CV in the title. Another way to meet expectations is uh, by making sure that the information in your resume is relevant to uh, the job objective or to the job title. This is what the employers expect. They have certain requirements and they expect relevant information in the resume. If you have several different degrees or certificates and some of them are relevant and others are not, uh, you can skip those that are not relevant. You may have some job experiences that are not relevant, then you can either remove them or if removing them would create gaps in the resume, then you can just uh, reduce the content or the information that you provide about those jobs and stick only to uh, skills that are relevant. Another example for targeting your resume is uh, to be specific and to give examples. Uh, what uh, will be much stronger in the eyes of the employers is if you prove your experience using action verb and accomplishments. You use verb statements and you provide examples of your accomplishments. Numbers that quantify the volumes of work that you can handle or that quantify your results are something that will make it specific and will prove that uh, you can uh, do the job or that you have the skill that they are looking for and try to cover all the skills that the employers are listing in their requirements, such as soft skills, hard skills, technical skills. Uh, another example uh, for meeting expectations is using the language of the job posting. 
the job postings have certain specific terminology that you have to identify and use. It makes difference if the job postings call the customers clients and you call them customers. If you do that, then you look like coming from another industry, not belonging to the field where you're applying, or even worse, if there is a computerized applicant tracking system to do the screening, your resume may actually be disqualified even before getting in front of the eyes of somebody. Another uh, way uh, to uh, get help uh, with the language is uh, if you have your resume professionally reviewed for spelling and grammar, uh, there are software tools or there are resume critic services. This is also something we can help you with. We also have resume workshop that can help you to learn more. And we have employment counselors that can assist you with uh, revising, targeting your resumes and making sure that they meet the requirements and the expectations of Canadian employers. The neighborhood group is here to help you with all your job search needs.